scripture reading today talked about being humble in yourself before God. So a little story to tell you. Uh, for those that don't know, I work in IT support. I support our users at Farm Bureau, not the insurers or members, but the, the people that behind the scenes that do all the work and everything. And I was on the phone with one of my users one day. And, uh, we were on a long call, had to do some updates and downloads. And so we were just talking and uh, Prior to, this was prior to COVID, and then we had this rally every month that gave the employee the month award and everything. And she asked if I had ever won, won it. I said, no. I said, I haven't ever won it. I said, there's a couple people in the help desk that have, but not me. And she goes, she goes well, why not? You're, you're more helpful than anybody I've talked to. I said, well, I said, I don't mean. And I said, so you remember how you answered the phone when you called in? You said, oh, thank God it's you. And I said, that's my employee of the month award every time someone does that. I said, that says more than anything, any plaque or anything I can put. And so it, it, anytime someone does that, it greatly humbles me, makes me, makes me feel good. And so, um, now let me ask you this, or let me tell you this. I am the greatest dad in the world. <laughs> but is that being humble? You think I'm the greatest dad in the world. Now, see, that's very humbling because it's <laughs> not me thinking that. It's you thinking that. So, so do you understand humble? All right. All right. You want to pray? Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing us uh, with this child and those that are children at heart. Please continue to allow us to uh, revel in your gloriousness and please remind us to always be humble and always be kind to others. In your son's name we pray. Amen. All right. I will, Jeff, uh, for those that may not have ever heard this before, this is Jeff's uh, humble and kind sermon. And I'm, uh, I'm going to take a few liberties with it, but I think he'll be okay with when he first came up with this sermon, this was actually for the uh, one of the in the, la the last NTA meeting that was actually held at our church, uh, and apparently that week he was having some trouble finding what he what he was going to talk to the the uh, preachers and uh, and pastors of churches that were that had hundreds and hundreds of members and they had been in the congregation for years and then. Uh, uh, some cases decades. So, uh, but he had a song stuck in his head. Uh, for those that may not know, Tim McGraw. And actually, I think it was pro done prior to Tim McGraw, but I think he's probably made it most famous in recent uh, generations. Um, but it's called Humble and Calm. Uh, and after, after, if you look at uh, social media and the media in general, and even traditional media, excluding social newspapers, magazines, you hear a lot of negativity, and and that some of those people should actually be should actually not only just listen to that song, but read the lyrics. It, it actually sends a very very good message. Uh, good part of the song is don't take for granted the love of his of this life gives you when you get where you're going. Don't forget to turn back around and help the next one in line. Always stay humble and always stay kind. Uh, that basically means is for the people coming behind you, uh, whether it be uh, in a job, in a position in the church, or um, just in life in general, always be there to help those people rise up. When Billy Graham was driving through a small southern town, he was stopped by a policeman and charged with speed. Graham admitted his guilt, but he was told by the officer that he would have to appear in court. The judge asked, guilty or not guilty? When Graham pled guilty, the judge replied, that'll be $10, a dollar for every mile over the speed. Suddenly, the judge recognized the famous minister. You have violated the law. The fine must be paid, but I'm going to pay it for you. He took a $10 bill from his own wallet attached it to the ticket, and then took Graham out for dinner. Graham later said, now that's how God treats a repentant sinner. <laughs> I'm repentant. I haven't got a steak dinner in a while. <laughs> uh, here we have a famous man that could have 
just as easily used his name, his, I wouldn't say clout, I don't think Graham would have liked that, but uh, just his, his position and his notoriety could have easily got out of that ticket. Probably had a slew of lawyers that would have been uh, willing to defend him to the Supreme Court for this $10 ticket. But instead, he just admitted, like a good Christian, that he had done wrong and, and God, uh, in his own way, repaid him for that. Proverbs 16, 18 through 19. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. It is better to be of lowly spirit among the poor than to divide, dive the spoil with the proud. We have all heard about the Pharisees and the, and the sinful woman, and how the Pharisees and others sat at the table, saw themselves better than the sinful woman. There's also another Pharisees from Luke 18, 11 through 14. The Pharisee standing by himself was praying this. God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like the tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of my income. Tax collector standing far off would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. Kind of like in my children's sermon, it's like I don't, I don't think I, I always tell my people, uh, I always tell my users in my job, I said, uh, I said, I'm I'm not the best tech. There's, there's lots of other people, and I'm not the smartest person in the room. Very rarely am I the smartest person in the room. And I said, I just happened to have been here a while and learned a thing. And, and as I quote from another tech that uh, uh, is uh, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. <laughs> but here we have two examples of people putting themselves above others not humbling themselves in front of the Lord. The Bible is full of other cases of braggers, people of entitled and selfish people. Uh, even the, the people in even Mark today, they were trying to keep the blind man. They were, they were trying to keep him away from Jesus. They didn't think he was good enough from Jesus. But yet, I mean, he still proceeded. He was humble and he said, just give me my sight back. And, and Jesus did so. So in the world nowadays, there are too many people that put their pride out front, that only care for themselves, than rather brag of what they have and how they live instead of helping others. Now in the spirit of Jess Foxworthy, and his, uh, you might be a redneck if, uh, is a useful list, you might be selfish if. So just listen, and I will not judge you, but I do encourage you to judge yourself. You might be selfish if, you have generally difficult time letting someone else have the remote control. I know at least one person in this room that has that problem. So you pick up the last piece of chicken, take a bite out of it, and hold up and say, does anybody want this? Yes, I've done that, so I'm selfish. Uh, you know all the words to the song, I did it my way. I can honestly say I don't know hardly any of the song. The, the uh, words except for the, the name, say. You have a lifetime subscription to Self Magazine. You rush to be the first in line at a funeral possession, procession. Uh, that'd be, that'd be, people would do that differently if it was, uh, you're next. <laughs> Your favorite picture at home is the mirror. You're on a date and say, enough talking about me. What do you think about I don't think there are too many people in here other than maybe the chicken and the remote that qualify for this, but uh, uh, it is kind of humorous and it does kind of make us think because we unfortunately probably do know some people that, that fall into this. In Ephesians 4, uh, chapter 4, verse 32, we're told, And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiveness one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. Nowadays, everyone is more tied up with their own life and won't even take a look at the lives of others in their community. James 4.10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will exalt you. Most people have forgotten this point. They prefer
prefer to brag on themselves. Yes, I'm good. I give money to the church. I give money to charity. Uh, I'm the, the best person in my job. Uh, but you should kind of make sure you're bragging on other people. Say, say this person's done a great job today. That person, they, they've done a lot for the community. That, that's what we should strive for. We need to remember not to put ourselves ahead of others, and we are not more important than others. For the Lord's eyes, we are all equal. The only difference is how we as humans act. Because in the end, we're going to all be judged by the, the same person. We're going to be judged by our actions, not by what we think of ourselves. Humble and kind, two small words which speak volumes. As Christians, we must remember to humble ourselves to the Lord and walk the right path. I always say walk the straight and narrow. I don't always think the straight and narrow is what we should do because sometimes straight and straight leads you right down to a bad, straight to a bad place. Uh, but like I said, you should walk the right path regardless of whether it's straight or narrow. As Christians, we must remember to be kind to our brothers and our sisters. And then, only then, can we fulfill our promise as the people of God. We need to remember those that are, uh, as we've said in previous scriptures, the least, do, do unto the least of these you have done unto Jesus Christ. And what you have done badly unto these people you have done unto Christ. So we need to remember those, those that we don't agree with, even, even those that uh, are in the right, or even when we're in the wrong, and and they feel, that, and, and you feel that they are wrong. Remember, it's, it's not necessarily what you think. God will judge them by their actions, uh, and by you judging them, he will also judge you by yours. And I had someone once tell me when someone was saying bad things to people I know, it's like, Hope God doesn't judge you as harshly about the things He knows about you as you are judging someone based on what you think you know about them. So I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to get out of here early for John. <laughs> um, Tim McGraw song: "Whose dreams your dreams come true when the work you put in is realized." Let yourself feel the pride, but always stay humble and kind. May you grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.